Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and this evening I've got the September 18th build of Ubuntu Touch. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so the last update I did was the August, I think it was the 16th build, but it came out on the 20th. It, it, it was crazy, I'm sorry about that. But in a month? Guys, this has changed so much in a month. I mean... They were implementing things in the, like that had only been in settings, but they were like dead. So actual having actual backgrounds now. So for some reason it's a snail. I can't seem to change that, but hey ho. It's got a different background on the home screen than on the lock screen. Uh, this actually has current data, so it's like four photos taken since I flashed this build. Double tap, it'll come and change. So if I had like missed calls or stuff, that'd come up here, and then double tap, and then it cycle through. Obviously, you swipe, you swipe. That's like swipe and slide. You swipe to unlock. Oh, sorry about that. That's a kick of the tripod. Um, all right. Obviously, we have the home scope here. If we slide to the left, we have the music scope, and obviously, I have no music on this device. Uh, if we go back this way, next we have applications. We have installed and open up, open this up, and there is actually kind of a couple on here already. Close up. Next is more suggestions. This is kind of a bit hit and miss. If you can see, they have outlines with names underneath, but uh, at this moment in time, they aren't populated. They kind of, oh, there you go. They kind of populate when they feel like it. Sometimes like they'll just uh, go away for a bit. And you can see the scrolling is actually really good in this. I mean, like from the hardware alone, the scrolling should be good, seeing as it's like a quad core crate processor. But um, again, I have to reiterate, guys, this isn't officially out yet. This is still a, d a developer preview. So, uh, home scope, application, so installed, more suggestions for you to download, and dashboard plugins. And then next is videos, and obviously there is no videos on here. Um, so if we go back... Uh, the first thing I need to tell you and show you guys is the one thing I have been asking and moaning about in every build since Ubuntu Touch came out. That second tile there, guys. They put in a messaging app. They've probably they've been listening to me moan for months and months on end, and we've actually finally got a separate SMS app, so I can go in. I can, I can do it. I can type and then I can send it off and I think I've actually just kind of sent a tweet so this should be interesting but hey whatevs um oh god I just said whatevs <laughs> um so yeah we've actually got an, an SMS app and it, it's a silly little thing but guys it's it's a big thing and I know I've been moaning about it and Normal people will not would not have known to go into um, the phone and then to tap on up here and then swide over to um, swide. See, I can't type tonight. I can't type. I can't speak tonight. Wow, I haven't had enough caffeine today. Um, they wouldn't have known to go to uh, the phone, tap up here, and then go over to. I think it was conversations before. Now it's uh, con uh, keyboard contacts and call log. And as you can see, they've actually redesigned this a bit. It kind of looks, uh, it's very reminiscent to the uh, WebOS dialer. So if you stay here for a second, guys. And this is just like kind of little and large. The irony here is this is the only WebOS device I have that's actually activated. So this is the dialers that are between the two, so. So yeah, you can obviously kind of see where it's got its inspiration from. Um, see so yeah, if we go back. So we finally got a messaging app. Uh, the dialer's been improved. It's been, it it looks a lot prettier now than it used to. Uh, contacts app. It looks a lot prettier than the one we had last week. These are obviously my fake contacts. Though, hey, how do you know? I might know Eric Schmidt, like Kushdada. Larry Pace, Scott Johansson, Sergey Brin, Tim Cook, Tony Stark. Hey, I might know all these people. Um, so yeah, 
the fake contacts, but the contacts app now looks a lot prettier than it used to. There's no like separate options from the top. You don't tap and move anything over. Here, if you slap, if you swipe up from the bottom, you get select and add. Uh, and I'm sorry if you can't see some of the the bright stuff on the screen, guys. The screen brightness on the phone is turned down as low as possible. Uh, so there's literally nothing else I can do about that. Um, if we go back home, uh, the camera. The camera hasn't actually changed. Uh, for some reason, this bug has a bit of a, uh, an issue where it cuts off part of the screen, and it's the size of the screen. I'm guessing that's about 48 pixels, because this the Nexus 4 has a 1020, uh, a 1280 by 768 screen, and most times when things have issues, they have issues with the pixels. Let's just take a photo there. Uh, most of the time, they'd rather it be. 720p and obviously this is about 48 pixels more than that so camera not really been improved it's been made faster it doesn't have the issue of the uh, front camera going upside down a lot so that's obviously a lot better if we pop into the gallery quickly now this has actually been sped up a lot and it's I'm still finding this a weird concept to get around it basically organized your stuff by the day so obviously all the ones I've taken tonight, so in a second it's going to pop up the one I just took here. It's me and the camera, and I look terrible, so I'll zoom in on the camera instead. Yep. Yeah. Pinch to zoom is incorporated, but it's a bit of a janky one that doesn't really work so well. Uh, that's the... Try and find it. Where is it? Here we go. Back in the gallery. Uh, again, this is a couple of the photos I took earlier, so El Tequito Beer. Tequila flavored beer, yes, judge me however you want, it was tasty. But, um, see, it's a bit of a, a janky implementation of pinch to zoom. So, uh, the photo there and a couple earlier ones. Uh, something I took at the dinner table, and there's one of me earlier in the day, and I look really, really rough. So, um, swipe up and then back. Uh, so I'm uh, obviously, if you tap at the top, events, and then if you just tap over to photos, you just get a list of the photos, uh, albums, and obviously events is, again, sorted by date. If you swipe up from the bottom, uh, a short swipe, you get like the menu bar. Uh, the back is usually in the bottom left. Pardon me. Uh, this one, select, import, and camera. I'm guessing is import is if your device has an SD slot. That'll focus. It won't. Uh, obviously, camera is a quick shot to the camera app itself. So if we just uh, go home, Facebook is just a link to the web app. Uh, browser is obviously their browser. Gmail is a web wrapper of their um, the website, and obviously system settings is a system settings. But it, it's kind of been slightly improved. It's a bit smoother. Things like cellular actually have uh, options now. Go back. Bluetooth is a bit iffy, it doesn't really do anything. Wi-Fi doesn't, but you can do Wi-Fi from up here. So there you go, I've actually been able to connect to Wi-Fi on this build. Uh, if I go down, like, background, see a uh, snail on the home screen. I'm supposed to have gears on the welcome screen, but it doesn't really want to work. And I can apparently pick from here, but again, that, that doesn't work either. Um, no, not there. There we go. Um, sound, it does work. Whoa, that was a bit weird. <laughs> Language and text, it works. For some reason, I couldn't. I can't get mine to switch from US English to UK English. The options there, mine just doesn't want to stick. Uh, accounts, I can go. I can have my Twitter and my Facebook accounts for the Friends app, which is kind of like a built-in social aggregator, but kind of sucky in my opinion. Sorry about that, Ubuntu. Uh, next is system. So we have battery. And it gives us like quite detailed battery stats, display brightness, uh, sleep when idle, blah, 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 blah. So I can go back. Uh, screen brightness, uh, phone, call forwarding, call waiting, uh, three services. That's my carrier in the UK, three. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, time and date, obviously, it's the time and the date. 
security and privacy. I I'm imagining here where it says where it says security, they're eventually going to put in like pin passwords and stuff, so it's not just as unsecure as this. We just swipe. Uh, let's have a look. Um, nothing really, nothing really much here. So if we go back, and of course updates, o OTA yeah there <laughs> OTA updates were added in the last one, and I annoyingly got one halfway through uh, filming last month's one. I've been uh, playing with this for a couple hours, and it's kind of every other time I've been playing with it, I get there's a system update available, but it doesn't download it. So, if it shows me one, it's lying. Maybe it's a placeholder, but I haven't been able to download any OTA updates today. And I really can't be bothered to wait much longer than this, so I'm just going to uh, go back home. So that's just like kind of the the home the, the home screen, kind of more than anything else. And it's just the kind of main ones. As you can see, it's they've gotten rid of all the, the fake data, so all the... Um, preloaded music tastes and the preloaded contacts and all that that's all gone so it's like on the home scope here the main one you only have the six and if you tap there you get the nine most commonly used apps if you swipe over to apps uh, these are the apps I've currently got open so I've got seven apps open I've got the dialer system settings gallery camera contacts messaging and the gallery so I've got gallery open twice that's a bit of a bug but yeah and obviously you tap and hold and you just start hit the X's and obviously they all they all close, and I opened up Amazon by accident because I opened everything. I close everything too fast. Um, if I swipe here and go applications, the installed tab, uh, and it all opens up. So Amazon browser, calculator, calendar, camera, clock, contact dialer, drop-in letters, eBay, Facebook, file manager, friends, gallery, Gmail, messaging, music, notes, shorts, stock tracker, Sudoku, system, terminal, Twitter, Ubuntu One, Unity launcher. Weather, Amazon, Facebook, Stock Ticker, eBay, Gmail, Sudoku, Ubuntu One, and Twitter. And yes, I know I said some things twice, but it's because they're on there twice. Whew. That was really difficult to say in one breath. But um, there you go, guys. All the um, installed ones. And some, actually, most of them work. Some are a bit buggy. Some are like, yeah, I'll work. And then it's like, lol, joke, I won't work. Um. These are the suggested apps I can install. So if I tap on XDA, this is kind of annoying. It does take about whoa, it does take about ten seconds or so to actually open up the kind of the profile of said app. So if we give it another second or so, it should actually pop up with like XDA with a couple of the screenshots. And I'm pretty sure I actually there you go. See that that like load time is a bit disconcerting, but I'm sure they'll fix that. Uh, it gives me a couple of screenshots. Ideally, I should be able to tap on those and actually be able to see the screenshots, but nope, nothing. If I tap install, it'll it'll try and download. It'll say zero, then it will like jump to 100% instantly, and but it won't actually download, which is a shame because I'd kind of wanted to see what installing apps on Ubuntu would be like. But hey, it comes out next month. Next month, guys, there will only be one more update of the developer preview builds. So actually, no, this is technically the last developer preview build. Which means I might have something interesting to show you guys next month. If I close the Ubuntu, uh, not Ubuntu. If I close the uh, XDA kind of um, what are they called shades, scopes, whatever. Uh, if I close that, uh, go back. So animations are really nice and fluid. Like once they kind of have time to load, I guess. So if I again, if I tap on a Google Plus one, it's gonna take a while to open. And but once it's opened. It closes like instantly, and it, like if it can like get this type of responsiveness like out of the gate, I don't like I don't see why it couldn't. This feels like and a well done polished like app. I could not app. Um, this feels like a well polished OS. Like this is fast. It doesn't like jump and bug around very often very often it does do it I'm not gonna say it doesn't I'm not gonna lie to you guys but it doesn't this build particularly does not do it very often right, if, I, if I just close more suggestions if I'm able to do that sorry XDA um, and then down below we have data plugins so 
applications, click packages, commands, data plugin, oh, sorry, dash plugins, home scopes, and music. And like, this is, I believe, is just like the lenses, which is like, sorry, the pages, I think these are called lenses. Um, so we go back to the top. Next, we have obviously videos. I've got no videos recorded. Um, the top has slight changed ever so slightly. There seems to be a persistent Bluetooth notification, even though it's actually turned off. Uh, and even when it's turned on, it's still, like, I say grayed out, it's white. But, um, so I don't really know much about that. Uh, search, same as always, except it now works on the main home tab, whereas before, um, go away. Um, <laughs> search only worked on, like, the ones where you could search for things, so applications or videos or music, but now it just works in the standard home tab <coughs> so there's not really a lot much more to say about this guys it's it's getting there and it's getting there fast I mean this is starting to feel like a actual OS it's not starting to it's I'm trying to put this in words it's really difficult this is getting really polished this is getting to a stage where I'm seriously thinking about using it like straight up I mean first off if someone can manage to port Google Hangouts to this you're a godsend I love you all all of the above apply um, I will probably like donate you a beer or next day or whatever if you can, I use Google Hangouts quite often if you can get Google Hangouts working on this you are the man also, if anyone wants to send me a uh, slim port HDMI cable so I can test out to see convergence, also to, not too bad, except like, you know, slim port HDMI cable is like £25, which is crazy. No one actually send me a slim port HDMI cable. Um, but like I said, I must say, guys, if anyone is really interested in Ubuntu, now is now's kind of the time. It's 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 getting so polished. Like in the last month, I wish I had two Nexus fours and I could flash last month's build and this one and have it next to each other, and you could just see the stark difference. Like the a standard thing, just like having a, a different background, and like once you are actually able to change that, like I didn't th I didn't know I'd like Ubuntu Touch with m my own background, but you know what? It's it's nice. I didn't think it would work. Ubuntu. Ubuntu, the like design idealities of Ubuntu still comes through because of I'm, I bet I'm gonna get this wrong, but like the the squircle icons like squared off circles squircles um, They still come through the font which I believe is actually just called Ubuntu it It's still very much Ubuntu without having the the purple slash orange slash brown theme which is a very nice thing because the orangey purpley brown is a very very polarizing color combination I'm personally not a fan of it so whenever I install Ubuntu I usually put the I think it's called radiance and then put a light background on but having something like this is really nice um, one thing I must say guys apart from icons changing is this the quick launch bar at the side I don't use it very often it's like Obviously, if I'm in an app and I want to go home, you swipe in a little bit and then you carry on going. Go away, browser. Um, but it, it's here, so if you do this, like if what it, I showed you this last month, but if you go past, look at the way they all collapse. They're like concertina into each other, and then they all like uh, they all like bounce back after each other. Like these have all received a bit of a makeover. I'm not sure if you can. Uh, I'm not sure if this comes up on camera. There's actually a line above the Ubuntu logo, so it's actually separated. It's kind of like the Windows 7 start button. It was kind of segmented from the rest of the taskbar. But yeah, so apart from a few icon updates and font updates, I I. <laughs> I don't know what else to say guys, this is just brilliant. So like I said, I am Dom from mobiledom.co.uk. You can get me on Twitter which is twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore dom. You can circle me on Google Plus which is gplus.to forward slash Domenico Lamberti.
Until next time, guys, toodle pip.